Continuing on Law Weekly today, we look at the issues surrounding the motion of urgent public importance, calling on the House of Representatives to intervene and help forestall a constitutional crisis in the Edo State House of Assembly. We have the views of a senior advocate of Nigeria, Adeyinka Ulumide Fushika. At the 2019 call to bar ceremony held recently in Abuja, the acting Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Tanko Muhammad, wants lawyers to stop discussing in the media legal matters pending in court. Plus our weekly recap of the top stories from the courtrooms. That's the lineup on this episode of Law Weekly. Hello and welcome. I'm Shola Shieli. It was on Tuesday, the 9th of July, when the House of Representatives held its first plenary session of the week, that a lawmaker representing Edo State, Honorable Julius Nyovere, raised a motion of urgent public importance, calling on the House to intervene and take over the affairs of the State House of Assembly so as to ensure the proper inauguration of that assembly. There has been plenty of reactions trailing that move, with some applauding and many others condemning the move. To get a legal perspective, I spoke to a senior advocate of Nigeria, Adeyin Kaolumide Fushika, to get his views on the issue. I began by asking his general thoughts. I think that um, we are in a fix sort of um, the people, you know, I doubt that uh, we are the, the level of maturity required to practice, the, to practice democracy, government of the people, by the people, for the people, is, uh, is lacking. So that's what you see playing out all over the, the place. Uh, and uh, the recent one is Edo State, what is going on, it's just a drama. What does the Constitution say? And we are talking law now, not drinking anything to it. This is what has happened. Now, Section 1053 of, the, of this, Says, uh, of this is um, uh, the person elected as governor of a state is the one to issue a proclamation for mm -hmm. the holding of the first session uh, of uh, the House of Assembly of that state. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is at that first sitting that the speaker, you know, possibly other principal officers, officers are elected uh, uh, to be elected. Hmm? Hmm. Section 105. 1053, subsection 3. Okay. You know, if section 105.1 says, you know, after four years, one assembly gets dissolved, it ends, the tenure ends. Hmm. Once you have done an election in this instance, yeah, an election was done. So for the assembly to, it's a new assembly. Hmm. So if the governor fails for any reason to issue that proclamation, yeah? The house cannot sit. That's what the law is. And you may, I don't know what the solution to. But in this instance, the governor did issue a, pro, a proclamation. Now, what's the quorum for the sitting of the uh, house? Is uh, one third. Okay. Once you have one third of the members present. Once you have one third of the members who are entitled to be there, present, oh. they can actually transact. Uh, it's a full session, they can transact. One business. third of the members who have been sworn in, or one third of the members elect, of the lawmakers elect? Uh, it says one third of the members. If I issue a proclamation, this is what it means, talking law. If I issue a proclamation as governor and say the first session will take place on social date, eh? <laughs> if you have 26 members, hmm? uh, 9 turns, turn up, others fail to turn up. It's not the business of anybody. Okay. You can go ahead as long as you have that 9. There's a quorum. Okay. If for any reason, you know, maybe some have gone to watch cinema or whatever, or they've, uh, they have other important things, or they are meeting with their godfather somewhere to plot on whatever, and they fail to turn up. Once you have nine yes. out of that 26, the quorum is formed. The quorum is formed. You can According to the law. Yes. In fact, the concern even went for that. And that's, I think that's uh, section um, uh, 102. Let me read that. So it says, a house of assembly may act notwithstanding any vacancy in its membership and the presence or participation of any person not entitled to be present at or to participate in the proceedings of the house or whatever shall invalidate. You know, so once you have that one third, whether the absence, the political one they want me to go into, which I'm not going to, is the absence of the others, 
was procured by manipulation mm. is a different thing. I'm not going into that. I'm not there and I don't know what happened. Mm. Whether the others were prevented from coming in. It's a I different, th th those are not legal issues. If you have, yeah, they may be legal issues, mm. but it's not, okay. they have to resolve it some other way. Okay. Do they have one third of members present on that day? That's the question. If they have, if, if there was one third of the members present, there was a quorum. Mm. And once you had a quorum, they could validly do Six. what they did. The right of the National Assembly or the, the, the power granted to the National Assembly is well specified. And you'll find that in, uh, I think, Section 11.4. That's the power of the National Assembly is to take over? Yes, it's okay. Section 11.4. Okay. Anybody, any of our listeners can pick it up. It's written in English. Don't let any lawyer come and bamboozle you that uh, you can just read carefully in English. But just give us a, an idea of when they can take over. If the assembly, let me read it out to you okay. so that you, at any time when any house of assembly of a state is unable to perform its functions by reason of the situation prevailing in that state, the National Assembly may make such law for the peace, order, and good government of that state with respect to matters on which a state house of assembly may make laws as may appear to the National Assembly to be necessary or expedient of the short time as the House of Assembly is unable to is able to resume its functions. And any such laws enacted by the National Assembly person to this session shall have effect as if they were laws enacted by the House of Assembly of the state. But there's a proviso. It says provided that nothing in this session shall be construed as conferring on the National Assembly power to remove the governor or the deputy governor of the state from office. So even if the National Assembly take over now, they cannot remove the governor. So it's, it's also in favor of the, but can they even do so? That's the, can they take over? Yes. It says for the purposes of this uh, session, a House of Assembly shall not be deemed to be unable to perform its function so long as the House of Assembly can hold a meeting and transact business. Hmm. Is anybody saying that the Edo State House of Assembly cannot hold a meeting or transact business? Your complaint is that when the Speaker of the House was being elected, some people were manipulated that go to court. Okay. It's not, it's not to run to the no, national, they can't do that. to the federal lawmakers yeah, and say they should they come and take over. And when they call a meeting of the House of, uh, with this Speaker, if he calls a meeting now, hmm? Those who were not in attendance on the, first, on the day of uh, the first session or whatever, are they prevented from attending? They are not prevented from attending. If they get there and decide, okay, we don't want you as a uh, speaker, and they are able to follow the normal procedure for removing a speaker, they are free to. So you cannot say the state of House of Assembly is unable to function. We should not, in playing this, when they are playing this, uh, they are politics. Uh, they should treat this as sacrosanct. Sacrosanct. Is it? They must tell the state, okay, the members are dead or what? Or there was uh, somebody who prevented them from going into the uh, assembly. There's a police force in Nigeria. You go there, anybody that is not supposed to enter because of any problem, you, you clear those who are supposed to enter, who are members of the assembly, and they go in and they perform their function. If for, even if they, for any reason they, somebody steals the mace as they normally do or uses court gel on the other person, there's nothing new in that. It happens, you know, all over the world. You cannot say because, okay, it, it, the, has it not happened with the National Assembly? Who took, who took them over? Didn't you have things where doors of the National Assembly, the gate to the National Assembly was locked and people were jumping, the, the current speaker jumped. Uh, defense to enter, defense. still defense to, to enter the, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you cannot say because of things like that, mm -hmm. the State House of Assembly, the responsibility of the police is to maintain law and order. So, what's the reason for now going to the National Assembly to say the State House of Assembly is unable to, to sit? The National Assembly should not dabble into that kind of uh, politics. They should leave it to the people of those states, the assemblymen, to resolve their issues. The speaker has been elected. What they can do is to now, as members, as members, perform their own role. If they feel the person sworn in that, that came in through 
using nine members instead of uh, 20 or whatever. Oh, if they feel it's not... The yes, then the, the speaker has to, must have the confidence of majority of the members of the uh, assembly. But you don't, it's not by refusing to present yourself or swearing in and participating that you will get him removed. They are wasting their time. They must present themselves for swearing in. After they've been sworn in, then they can participate. When a meeting is called, they can exercise their majority. If they say they are in the majority, they can exercise their majority right to say, we don't have confidence in this speaker. We are electing someone else. I will encourage um, all sides, you know, in, including, you know, um, the fathers of the, when I say fathers of the elder statesmen in the state to see how it can be resolved so that people who were elected to represent their constituencies are not deprived. And I also think it's the responsibility of the law enforcement agencies. If the state of, a session of the State House of Assembly is called, those who, have not, who are yet to be sworn in for one reason or the other should present themselves for swearing in, and nobody can prevent